What's going on guys? We're sitting in the uh, Subi today. I basically wanted to go over something with you guys. I recently, like last week, I got my car back from the shop because I had the clutch replaced. So what had happened was, and I, I couldn't find anything online regarding this situation, except for like one thing, and it was for a Subaru uh, Crosstrek, like a 2015, and this is a 2014 Forester. Um, so what happened was, like a couple weeks ago, I was driving, and I went to shift from fifth gear to sixth gear, and all of a sudden, when I did that, and I went to pull up on the pedal, I noticed it was sticking. Like when I went to like release it, it was sticking. So I started I, right away. I was like, well, great. This just sucks. And it was right after I had my tires, I mounted my tires and wheels on. Like mounted my tires and wheels on my, I had the tires and mounted to the wheels like the whatever, how many days before. And then it was a Friday. I got off work and I was like, you know what? I'm going to mount, I'm going to put these on the car, uh, put them on the car and right away, like went to drive and it was like, while I was driving it, the clutch went out. So I couldn't find exactly what it was. And then crap, what was I saying? So I couldn't find out, so I couldn't figure out what it was. I didn't think it was the actual clutch itself because it wasn't slipping or anything like that. Um, and the problem, it just happened like all at once. I didn't notice anything weird or different with it at all. It just, it just happened. Like one minute's fine, next minute it was not. So we got to the uh, store we were going to and I was like testing out a couple of different things. I put it in neutral. And then when I went to press the clutch in while it was in neutral, uh, it stalled out, which is very strange to me. I never experienced that. And I was like, well, great. This definitely isn't good. So then I started it back up, and then I could kind of hear squealing coming from, like, the transmission area. I got out. I checked the, like, the master cylinder on these things is a little bit weird, and I'm going to show you that right now. So the master cylinder, the clutch master cylinder is actually, like, right here. Here's your brake reservoir, master cylinder. Now, I'm not used to a master cylinder for a clutch looking like that. I'm used to it kind of resembling the brake fluid reservoir. So that was a little different. So, you know, I left it there for a couple days and I went back to it. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try something. So I tried bleeding it. That didn't really do anything. It didn't make a difference at all whatsoever. Um, so then, I was like, well, the only other thing I can do is take it to a shop. So I drove it to a shop, basically limped it there as best as I could get it there. And uh, they said it'd be like three or four days. They ended up getting in the next day and they called me and they said, oh yeah, your clutch is definitely out. And it's definitely, uh, there's a, also a hydraulic issue. So he basically said, I'll need a new clutch, master and slave cylinders, uh, Throttle, throwout bearing and pilot bearing and that was it he also said that I may or may not need the flywheel so the only thing I could find online as I was previously saying was that it was the throwout bearing someone had described the same exact issue I was having and then there was like a, another comment below like oh that's the throwout bearing or your pilot bearing either way and these replaced so that gave me a false hope like okay cool there'll just be a throwout bearing that's you know the clutch or whatever was five hundred dollars the throwout bearing was like 30 bucks and then the labor to get it in was going to be like six hundred dollars or whatever so real quick uh it's still expensive but not as expensive as i was thinking with the clutch well when i took it to the shop what ended up happening was that the throwout bearing went bad so it was right about that and the way it clips in the only thing we can think of is the way it clips in to the uh pressure plate is when it went bad like it didn't just gradually go bad all of a sudden it just went bad and the way it clips in was it just when it went bad it basically just blew everything up i needed a new clutch pressure plate throwout bearing pilot bearing and flywheel as well as slave cylinder and the master cylinder so basically, you know, it was pretty expensive. So basically, I just want to make this video. Um, 
if you're ha experiencing like like your pedals sticking um, right away then you should probably just stop driving it and you maybe hopefully you get lucky and it doesn't grenade itself like mine did and I'll include a picture of the uh, the throw out brand the tech sent me which is funny because I also found another one that looked just like it online. So maybe this is a common issue in, with the throwout bearings and Subarus. But if you're lucky, the clutch on my car, like the clutch pedal starts sticking. And I believe that, you know, obviously that's going to be like, like the throwout bearing is also like, your, it's called the release bearing. Uh, I think that's the technical term or whatever, or what they call it in the books. So like that's what releases releases it. So if your clutch is if your clutch pedal is sticking and you notice like a squealing, like that means it's not disengaging completely. You need to take it to a shop and hopefully it, it's probably your throwout bearing. Hopefully you're lucky enough to where your throwout bearing didn't just destroy and grenade everything, like mine did. Um, like the the uh, guy the guy at the shop said that it could have been. Maybe when I bought the car, it could already been going bad, but because I wasn't used to how the car drove, I didn't notice a difference until that moment. I mean, when I test drove it and drove it up until that point, it drove like every other car I've driven with the clutch, uh, five or six speed. Um, I don't know, maybe it was just, I don't know. I don't really know how to explain it. Maybe it's because it's hydraulic and that allowed like, relieved any abnormalities in it i don't know just uh beware and if you're experiencing a similar issue don't don't try driving it just take it to the nearest place you can and have somebody come pick it up because who's to say had i not drove it as far as i did that it would have been as bad anyhow uh make sure you like share subscribe and comment Take care. Have a great day.